Uh, good evening. Welcome to Opening Acts here at Chicago Founder Stories at 1871, Chicago's new digital startup hub. Uh, this is our inaugural Opening Acts, talking about an exciting up-and-coming new startup, someone who eventually, hopefully, will be uh, telling a great story like we'll hear from Sean Ricksecker tonight. Uh, we have with us the founders, co-founders of Cardavi, Glenn Chimkis and Paul Cozier's. Cozier's, Paul Cozier's. They have an exciting company uh, in the interest of full disclosure in my role as an investor and investment committee member of I2A. I am an investor in them. Uh, I believe in these guys. It's a really exciting story. And the idea is to let you hear about an exciting young startup in its first year, hearing what they're doing to get a feel of some of the exciting things happening here in Chicago. So these guys, it's a great story. I can't wait to share it with you. And uh, we'll give you the headlines out of uh, what's happening at Cardiff. Welcome, guys. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having us. Um, so tell us, what does Cardiff do? So Cardiff is a cloud-based document sharing platform that's uh, designed for real estate transactions. It helps facilitate the, the back and forth you usually have when uh, purchasing or selling a home and all the paperwork that's involved. And it actually um, it makes the e process easier because the agents, any professional that's you know, dealing with the inspection with the mortgage title, and also consumers have one place to go. It's secure. It's online. It's available on their uh, mobile device as well. So everybody's in the loop. So you're in the document management business, but how is what you all do? People talk about Dropbox and things that are kind of horizontal in general. Obviously, you guys started by being spoke focused in a very specific vertical. What is it? I think you have a mic problem there. What is it about what you do that's different than if I were using a Dropbox or, or something else that uh, some kind of other document sharing? So there's, there's this big word called context, right? And, and so Dropbox, it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what the document is or what you're doing with the document. And, and so it's just basically what we would say it's more about sharing. It's about storage and access. Where with Cardiby, a lot of people describe our solution as like Dropbox on steroids specifically for real estate because it's about knowing that Paul is the buyer, you're the agent on the buy side, I'm the attorney. It's about knowing what the documents are. It's about being able to create the sales contract when I'm sitting down with Paul at his kitchen table, writing it up, handing my iPad across to him, having him sign it in front of me. So we're really focused on making sure that there's the context of real estate built into here, right? We know that there's a property. It has an address. There's a picture to it. We know that someone's on a transaction side, buy side, sell side. We know what their role is. So what we're trying to do is really make sure that it's not just about agnostic, right, of doesn't matter, but really building in the process, really building in, you know, understanding of what real estate's about. So, you know, vertical's exciting. I mean, thinking about what you can do knowing a vertical and to really yeah. make something customized is exciting. Um, as you guys look at what you're doing, um, and, and you obviously have some insight into this because this isn't something someone would just come up with reading the newspaper. How, where did the idea come from? How did you see this need? How did you see this opportunity? How did you figure that out? So I, um, I spent about 20 years in um, enterprise document management working for Fortune 500 companies, right? So I worked for this Israeli startup that, or software company that had 20,000 employees in 60 countries. And so a lot of my time I spent helping companies manage documents. Well, about five years ago, my wife um, became a realtor, which was just like phenomenal timing in 2008. I'm like, wow, that was a, a great call. Uh, as Way to put the whole left, family in there. Yeah. Exactly. So um, what <laughs> happened is my wife started getting transactions. And, and all of a sudden, there's these documents piling up all over my house. And, and I'd go into her car, and they're sitting on the, you know, the passenger side. And so there's all these documents. And then my wife would get a transaction, right? And someone's like buying a house. Well, what is she? She's got to go drive a half hour to get one signature on a piece of paper, and then she's got to drive back. And so my first thing was I was trying to find something to help her do her job and be more effective, right? When someone calls at Saturday night after she took clients out, we're having a drink, you know, meeting some friends, and someone calls and says, hey, can you fax or email me the document? And it's like, well, sorry, I'm kind of stuck. Right. And so I spent about three months looking for something to help my wife do her job. Didn't see anything. I love that, you know, we fax the document. <laughs> yeah. and, well, I mean, and, that, and that happens. I mean, you wouldn't believe how many people still fax through our product today. Really? But, um, but what it's happened... It's funny, the, the guys from... Um, uh, if you look at the guys from Grubhub, they had to build their whole business around fax to start for yeah. exactly that reason. Well, you know, part of what you're talking about is transitioning people from paper to digital, right? And, and nothing happens like, like that. It takes time. And so... When you're dealing with a real estate transaction, there's 20, 30 people involved. And some people may be paperless, digital, tech savvy, and some people aren't. And so one of the things that we built knowing going into this was that we needed to support all the ways people exchange information. So the people that are tech savvy and get it, we create a room. We invite everyone into that room online, and then you can share documents. The people that aren't quite there yet, 
you can still email documents to them. They can email documents. I like to that you. idea of the metaphor of the real world. You go to a closing room. Absolutely. You go to a closing virtual room. That's really cool. Yeah. So as you guys are out there, I so I saw their idea when it was early in concept and you were just kind of putting product together. What have, I know you've had a lot of success. I've, I've seen some of the, the, the feedback. But you're out there, you know, this is the wild west of being a startup, right? Uh, in these early days. What are the lessons learned as you're out there with the product and the customers? What are the really exciting things you're like, God, we nailed this. And what are the things that you're looking at going, wow, that's totally different than we expected? I think the big thing, which I've not, used to not knowing real estate, is that we had to learn a lot along the way. So we spent like 15 months just asking questions. Um, we were fortunate to have the uh, National Association of Realtors based in Chicago and have the Council of Residential Specialists, which is a division of the, uh, the uh, NAR, also look in Chicago. So we had access to the top producers. And we asked them early on with our wirecrafts and prototypes, you know, what was working, what wasn't working in terms of the transaction or the documentation Smart. system. So we spent 15 months actually building something that used to be a transaction management platform and taking things off until we got to a design that was, was oh, simple. Interesting. So the UI is based on direct feedback from people that were producing, you know, in, in real estate. And then beyond that, what we saw is that the, uh, the rest of the applications that existed in real estate at that point were just not built for an agent to be mobile. So we would look at, you know, it was out there and said, we're going to go out for the mobile and be a mobile first company too. So that was another play we actually did well. So That's smart. That's really cool. No, and it's, it's really understanding. I mean, you know, for us, it's like when we're building, it's like, is there a value prop, right? I mean, is someone going to gain value from this? And if we don't have a very, you know, solid answer, we go back and we start over. And so for us getting the mix of what, you know, is someone going to be able to pick it up and start using it and gain value from it right away? That was really important. And I think for us is, is what we did a lot during our research is we made contacts with those highly influential people in the industry, right? And so we got them involved. They had a piece of saying, we like this, we don't like that. They were involved, like, you know, with their mind and heart. And then we take the product out, and then those people are the ones out there going, saying, hey, you should look at this product, you should use that. So I think that was really important for us. And then just, you know, Something that was a huge home run for us was um, um, we were partnered with DocuSign, which is the global leader in e-signature. And so we went out really early. We went after them. We integrated their product like no one does uh, has done in the industry even today. And it's paid off in spades because not only um, is the, do we have the brand recognition of DocuSign within our product, but we also have a great sales channel. I mean, we get calls, sales calls every day from them from you know a couple hundred to thousands of users. They're like hey, this customer needs something like you have. And so for us, you know, one of the really important lessons is having that channel from yeah, the get-go. Yeah, that's exciting. Well, it's, it's funny. I, uh, a friend of mine um, who's at a probably one of the top B2B venture firms in the Valley emailed me last week, and she said, I know you're active in Chicago as an entrepreneur and angel investor. Uh, do you know these guys from Cardivy? <laughs> she said, we're really excited. We want to, you know, it's early for us, but we want to watch what they're doing. We're really excited. And I thought that was, a, you know, for a Valley venture firm to be, tracking a Chicago company and trying to do some back-channel references. That says a lot about what you I guys mean, are we, doing. I mean, we were out and uh, we spent probably three of the last four weeks out in San Francisco in the Bay. And, I mean, we, we sat down with um, Michael Moritz at Sequoia. I mean, wow. some of the folks that we were able to talk to and invited us in was like we were just off the charts with it. So, we so like, talk about your traction because obviously to get that you have to have traction. So talk about what, what's your traction so far? What are you guys seeing? What's the, what, you know, what are the hard evidence of the success that's getting these other people excited? It's, it's, it's our slow and steady growth, but it's actually picking up pretty well because of the way that the application is built. I saw your numbers. They're not slow. <laughs> it's, it's, it's what it is, well, the, the nature of the product is viral because basically once one agent starts a transaction and invites the other agent in, they invite their parties in. You've got 10 people in the room. Once one person sees the value, they invite 10 other people to the next oh, transaction. Cool. So it grows that way. It's, that's it's really all cool. natural and organic. So. All right. So to, to wrap up here, two, two questions. One is, um, you know, it's this the uh, startup version of what do you want to be when you grow up? <laughs> What's your vision for what Cardivy could be? If we're here in 10 years and, and this thing happened, you know, what's your dream of what it could be? Well, we want to, I mean, so we're starting in real estate. That's our, our initial focus, right? Small, we've got to go after and, and be really targeted. But we have tow trucks using, tow truck companies using our product. We have had, we did our Series A completely through Cardivy because the whole notion is a virtual room, getting multiple disconnected parties together. Uh, electronically signing, high mobile access. I mean, we do things that Dropbox and Box don't do. In fact, Box called us and said, we think you have one of the best apps in the market that has anything to do with documents. And we we're like, oh, my God, that's pretty cool. That it came cool. to us to partner. But, I mean, for us, what we look at is this bigger picture, right? It's, it's about um, legal, financial services. Anytime you have a transaction, right, where you're dealing with multiple parties that aren't a part of, like, this one entity, right, that you could say everybody uses this. 
So when we bring people together in this virtual room and then you can transact from wherever you are, our goal is, is really to change the way transactions are done, not just in real estate, but you know, think of when you're getting your taxes done or you're handling a legal matter or dealing with financial services. And for us, what we see today is people in other industries are using our product, even though it's not intended for them today. So, I, you know, I, you, you, we've talked about this, obviously. I'm a, um, I'm a big believer in what you guys are doing. I'm really excited. I think you're, you're one of the companies to really watch. But I have a belief, and we've talked about this, but I want to let our, our, our audience here, uh, sold out crowd here tonight for, for Sean's uh, founder story talk. And I, I, I want to give people a sense of why Chicago? Because I, I think we've talked about the fact this company is better in Chicago because of what, what we do here. You wouldn't necessarily have the same strengths in the in the valley, and I think you guys have chosen to do it here. It's exciting. Obviously, you live here, but what is it about Chicago that gives you uh, challenges, and what about Chicago is giving you uh, opportunities that you might not have otherwise? We can both talk to that, but um, I, th I think one is we live here. We we grew up here. We actually um, built our careers here, and our, we built our first networks here in terms of uh, the developers we have on our team today. So it's it was easy for us to start here. Um, we've been pressured to move to the valley, but we thought basically there's a lot of reasons why we want to stay here. And, and you know, 1871 is an example. Five to ten years ago, you didn't have you know efforts like this kind of pushing technology forward in Chicago. Now you see this happening. So there's it's something to be said about Chicago. Yeah, I mean, where two years ago we have 425 people who signed up to come tonight. Yeah. Where do you get an event for a startup of that you know that kind of right. numbers? And I've, I mean, I've been in tech my entire career here. I started programming back in college and and have had plenty of opportunities to move out west. And, and, and so far, I mean, when we've gone on our trips out west, I mean, I can tell you how many times, like, one of the first questions is, you guys interested in moving out, out to this area? And we're like, no, we like visiting, but Chicago's home. Okay. And there's plenty of talent here. Um, you know, it's, it's a matter, this is a growing tech community. Uh, there's so many great resources. And for us, it's just, you know, we want to continue to find the, the best and the brightest to help us grow. Well, what's interesting here, I was saying, you know, we have a vertically focused um, advertising business and one of the things we've learned is that people here like solving those kind of hard problems in the valley people are like well that's kind of sticky like how do you just make it yeah. horizontal mm -hmm. and I think that willingness to dig in is, is uh, where the you know there's a huge next wave of the internet there and it's exciting that you guys are really a leader in that nationally it's exciting to have you here so thanks for being here congratulations on your success thank we'll you look forward to follow up So we will start in about three, four minutes up, up there. Just want to get uh, the camera shifted up, and we'll get going, and I might grab a piece of pizza. So. <laughs>